I predict that, that the pandemic will happen in the 2020s and it's possible that it may happen in the 2050s. What I think will happen is that pandemic will cause an increase in deaths from diseases that have been indicated by vaccines or by conventional medicine. Will there still be any pathogens? Yes. We will still have many deaths from the new viruses. This reminds me of the weirdest encounter I had a while back. Someone was doubt, but the guy was such an ashole when I went to say my greetings. Sitting a couple of tables away from me and he sat behind me and was looking. I was saying hello. So I looked over. He was still looking and John. He looked at me with an intense gaze and said, you are not John. You are not John. You are not John then. He went back into the booth. I had an imaginary friend named Molly. She was a blue cat, see, and she made some sounds at times, like a cat or a cat meowing who was feeling sad. I would go upstairs, and she would make them, and then disappear. But sometimes she had a really annoying voice that ate, especially when I was feeling sad. I would cry in my room, and she would she. She would say, Mull is gone to sleep again. An American who goes to Walmart every week, I would have to say that it is a offers good value. They offer great prices with excellent service. Offer great products. You can get the best product at the better price. Like any other retailer wants you to buy from them. They want you to back. But what they don't want you to do is buy products from the store that minimum wage. Walmart has been accused of employing foreign guest workers. I am a big believer that the Black Lives Matter movement has helped the movement. In a positive direction, however, the Black Lives Matter movement has been criticized by some as being overly politicized, even though many people in the movement are committed to justice, equality, dignity, and nonviolence, and that we should not be afraid to be politically active.